वेलकम एवरी वन टू अवर चैनल मैथमेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री द क्वेश्चन आई डी सेवन जीरो फोर जीरो टू वन दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बेसिक सेट थ्योरी यू कैन से दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रियल एनालिसिस ऑल्सो सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सपोज एस इज एन इनफाइनाइट सेट Assuming that the axiom of choice holds, which of the following is true? Option one says that S is in bijection with the set of rational numbers. S number two says that S is in bijection with the set of real numbers. S is in bijection with S crosses, S Cartesian product S. Option four says that S is in bijection with the power set of S. C. Two sets, say S and T. For two sets S and T, there is a bijection from S to T. If the cardinality of S is equal to the cardinality of T, this is very easy to see. And so, to solve this problem, we only need to know. what is the cardinality of a set and the measuring the uh, comparability of that cardinality between two sets like this so for a finite set a if a is a finite set then uh, the cardinality of a also we can write this cardinality of a by mod a we can denote this cardinality of a by mod a so for Uh, to write less, we are denoting this cardinality of a by mod a. So for a finite set, the cardinality of a set is equal to the number of elements, number of elements in a, number of elements in a. For example, if a is a singleton a, then cardinality of a is equal to one. So the question is for an infinite set. there is a well known result that rational number is countable set because there is a bijection from between natural number set and the set of all rational numbers so this count the cardinality of these countable sets cardinality of this countable set we can say rational number or we can say natural numbers the cardinality of these two sets are equal to and this is denoted by aleph not and the cardinality of uncountable set larger than these two sets are is real number set the set of all real numbers and cardinality of the set of real numbers is denoted by small c and the larger set that is the set with cardinality greater than c is only that set of cardinality 2 to the power c that means r to the power r and this is the continuum hypothesis that there exist no set so if we if we compare the cardinality of this set so we can write the cardinality of a set maybe 1 less than maybe 2 dot dot finite set any a set a containing n elements is of cardinality n dot dot larger cardinality is the from first infinite set natural number set that is aleph not and larger cardinality from this is c and this is also less than 2 to the power c and this is also less than 2 to the power 2 to the power c and so on so this is the well known uh, continuum hypothesis that there is no set between these two sets of cardinality c and 2 to the power c that means if a is a set of cardinality c a is a set of cardinality small c and b is a set that is cardinality Uh, greater than c, 
then b must be at least of 2 to the power c so from this result this is we can say that s is in bijection with s cross s because this s cross s because the cardinality of s the cardinality of s is something and which will be and the uh, the cardinality of a set sorry the cardinality of a set the cardinality of a set whose cardinality is greater than s will must be equal to 2 to the power s that is power set of s so this s s cartesian product s s cross s cross s up to s to the power n all have same cardinality because if we have to uh, say a set of cardinality greater than uh, cardinality of s then that's that set will be power set of s 2 to the power mod s so 2 to the power mod s so s must be if uh, s must be the same cardinality with the set s cartesian product s so there is a bijection uh, between s and s cross s and see if we take s equal to the set of all real numbers then the cardinality of s will be small c so uh, the cardinality of uh, the set of rational numbers is aleph not so s cannot have a bijection uh, with the set of all rational numbers. So option 1 is not correct if we take s equal to uh, the set of all the real numbers and see option 2 if we take s equal to the set of all natural numbers then uh, the cardinality of the set of all natural numbers is aleph not and the cardinality of the set of all real numbers is small c so these two sets uh, are of, of different cardinality so there there will not be any bijection between this s and the set of all real numbers. So option 2 is not correct. And also S is in bijection with the power set of S. We have just said for an infinite set S, uh, a set uh, if S is a set of cardinality something then the power set of S have cardinality greater than that set. So there will not be any bijection between S and the power set of S. This is true for finite set also. This is very clear because if S is a set of uh, containing n elements, then the power set of S, then the power set of S is a set of cardinality 2 to the power n. But here we are given also uh, infinite set, so we need to, we don't need to check for finite set. So S cannot have a bijection with the power set of S. So option 3 is only the correct option. Uh, and this option we can conclude by continuum hypothesis only. Okay. Thanks for watching. Meet in the next video.